This presentation is about video analytics of Securiton with its CCTV brand IPS. IPS is located in Munich, Germany. Among other types of CCTV software products, IPS develops edge-based video analytic modules for the use in access cameras and access encoders. Ilya Bria is Head of Video Analytics at IPS and has nine years of professional experience. My name is Oliver Münchow. I work in international sales at Securiton IPS. I have been in the CCTV industry for five years now. Our focus is on perimeter protection of sensitive areas where CCTV security matters. I will explain at first compactly in which project types IPS Securiton is at home with this product. Then Ilya Bria will briefly explain video analytics in general, followed by a distinction between real-time and forensic search explained. Moreover, we give you an overview of IPS video analytic products portfolio usable on access cameras and access encoders. Additionally, the software application product IPS Intrusion Detection is described more in detail and explained with a configuration example. Ilya then discusses the topics of architecture and integration into a video management system. Finally, you will see a compact company overview of cooperating partners and reference customers, as well as my contact details for any questions or contact wishes later on. Basically, IPS analytic products are an excellent choice for customers for whom an extremely low false alarm rate, resistance to disturbance variables like weather conditions or environmental aspects, and intuitive and user-friendly configuration are of high importance. Among further applications, IPS video analytic products are typically used in projects such as alarm receiving centers offering security as a service for customers whose premises need to be monitored remotely 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In critical infrastructure projects such as power plants with a very high security requirement, especially in perimeter protection, in data centers for the prevention of unauthorized access and classically in prisons. So Oliver showed some example applications of video analytics, but what are the key facts which makes video analytics a great video analytics? Or in other words, what is IPS video analytics in a nutshell? The IPS video analytics provides you software-based modules which can be run on different hardware, so they can be used on Access as an ACAP module or also on a Windows-based server as part of an IPS video management installation. These modules give you tool, uh, a tool to detect incidents automatically within a static video stream. So this tool can be used to inform an operator and to ask him for some action or this tool can also be used to minimize the traffic on your network if only those detected events are transmitted but not the whole video stream. All analytic modules detect incidents with a high level of reliability. However, the question of high reliability is a challenging question to answer. We at IPS are working hard to meet both aspects of high reliability, which are minimizing false positives. This means that we maximize the precision and on the other side, maximizing the correctly detected objects which are expected, which means maximizing the recall. These reliable events can not only use, uh, be used in a real-time use case, but um, also in a forensic application. This forensic application I will show in a couple of seconds. 
And well, in a nutshell, we can summarize IPS Video Analytics provides you, your operators and your network infrastructure with an enormous support. So, as I told, IPS analytics modules can be used in a real-time event manner or as a tool for forensic investigations. These two applications differ only in the time when an operator is using the result of the analytics. So in a real-time use case, the operator is guided by the analytics to pay attention to things which really matters within hundreds of parallel streams. Here, analytics is the only way to take actions before someone might access your property. This can be done, for example, by analyzing suspicious presence of people within an area. Furthermore, an operator can be guided by events to help him keeping track of an intruder and even help the operator to follow people with a PD set. At the same time, all recorded video footage and events, um, which of course are synchronized, can be used to find footage of the incidents you are looking for. So for example, if you would like to know which car crashed into a parking car, now you can search for all the footage snippets which contain the object in the certain area around the car and find the car which was involved in the action you're searching for. IPS video analytic products are primarily designed to prevent incidents as components of an early warning security system that is used automatic visual detection to assist and to relive the operator at CCTV. From purely activity-based recording to protection against vandalism, the detection of illegal presence and the accurate detection of border crossing or access to unauthorized areas, IPS analytic products are highly reliable. The IPS intrusion detection product, for example, is an analysis module for outdoor areas and is used in particular for perimeter protection. It detects and tracks unauthorized objects or persons crossing into a restricted area, for example. The product is certified by the British Institute Center for Protection of National Infrastructure, CPNI, as a high-class module for perimeter protection. A camera equipped with this analysis module is able to detect incidents almost in real time and to alert in case of emergency. Intrusion detection is for monitoring of sensitive projects with open fields, fence detection and entrance areas. In general, the configuration of the different modules is very similar with a high focus on simplicity. So you as an administrative user need to set only a few simple parameters, which are typically people size, some perspective borders and some alert criteria. The alert criteria contains detection zones and the transition between different zones as well as some minimal thresholds for motion. To help you to get the best out of the, uh, of the IPS intrusion detection, we provide you with some advanced guidance with the conf within the configuration steps. So you can choose your installation setup, which can be, for example, an open area where people can move without any physical barrier, so people can also move very quickly. An entrance, where people can suddenly disappear or appear within an image, or it can be also a building facade where people can change in size, in size in a different way as in other applications. Or it can be an area with some physical barrier so people can move very slowly in a certain time but also moving very unusual way when climbing on, on or jumping off the barrier. 
So this um, predefined setups can adjust some internal parameter of the analysis to provide you with the best possible result for your application. Some more facts about the IPS camera-based video analytic modules, especially about the graphical user interface, are that the UI, so the user interface of the IP, uh, IPS ACAP module, is divided in two parts, the configuration part and the viewer part. So the web configuration part provides you some, some of the explained tools to configure the analyt uh, analytics to solve your tasks. This is arranged in a step-by-step -step workflow to keep the configuration task as simple as possible. You can configure up to eight analytic profiles to handle different applications. So, for example, during normal business hours, your property could, be, could have some other protection needs as during weekends. This can be handled by applying different alert criteria to different profiles. Um, how you can make use of these different profiles, I would like to explain you on the, second sli uh, on the next slide. Um, but before this, we have also the other part, the web viewer part, which provides um, the user interface to observe the video stream and the analytics. So you could use this to monitor the camera and to see what is detected by the analysis and if an alert is triggered. You also have the possibility to manually switch a profile. But besides this graphical user interface, there is also the possibility to use different API stacks to create your own integration in your ecosystem. Different APIs can be used to match your needs and the level of integration. So an alert integration can be done by using either a TCP interface, an SVG interface or an HTTP interface to gather analytics metadata. With this API, you can create your visualization or storage of footage with the detected objects and triggered events. On the other side, the HTTP interface can be used to control the analytics or to get some deep information of the current analytics status. So, for example, you can change the analytics profile through this API. Before coming to the end, here can see some of our technology partners and customers. Our analysis are fully usable in VMS system of milestone systems, for example. Cloud providers such as Securitas, Direct or Morphean also trust IPS. In addition to video analysis, um, IPS has also has its own proven video management system for high security projects in particular. You could request a 60 days trial software of all products mentioned via our website. If you have further questions, do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you very much for your attention.